Well, hey folks, welcome back to Crimson Skies. Let's jump right back into it. Let's see, let's play. There's our Belmoral, there's our dog. We're still trying to figure out a good, uh, good name for this fella. Uh, and since we still don't have enough money, I'm sure you're getting tired of hearing that by now, we're still not going to play with the plane construction. So let's go ahead on to the next mission. Okay, you mugs, listen up. Thanks to the cipher machine we recovered from the Balmoral bomber, Sparks and I were able to piece together the rough location of a base. Now, Jack and I flew recon this morning and found this. Whoa, the British are coming. Wait a minute. They need all that just to recover a sunken treasure? I doubt it. Maybe King George has his eye on the islands. Looks like they're planning some play against the Hawaiian royal family. <laughs> like the Limes don't have their hands full with Uncle Adolf and the Japanese. Greedy teabags. The Japanese are precisely why the Brits would be so keen to force a colony down the Hawaiians' throats. It would complete their chain of naval bases all the way from Singapore. Politics aside, it's a swell deal for us. Take a look. Inside their dry dock are some of those new ZEP-mounted utility cranes Sparks has been dreaming about. Hot dog, Skipper! Those new Southampton D-88s are the cat's meow. Genuine first-class gear! That's why I'm thinking we need to get our hands on those babies. No kidding. Those will cut salvage time in half. At least. So, Jack? Yeah? Try not to demolish them, okay? I still remember Calcutta. Hey, you know the Calcutta thing was an accident? I, I had something in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay, okay. Now here's the plan. The joint's pretty low on defenses. Take out all these buildings along the rim of the burnt-out volcano. That'll send them running. And one thing, I saw an AA gun there. Watch out for it. Now down here, they're working on an airstrip. Looks like they've got some sort of forced labor camp set up, too. Labor camp? Uh-oh, now they've gone and made Big John sore. Him and me both. So if you get the chance, give those guard towers and barracks down there the business. Maybe we'll help out the locals a bit, too. Rooting for the underdog again, Captain? I try. Now, when we're done, I want everyone back aboard the Pandora. Any questions? No. No. Nope. Okay. I want everyone in the air in 15. Let's get to it! <laughs> Real quickly here, you'll notice that the uh, the work camp there is listed as a target of opportunity. What that means in this game is that it is an optional target. Unfortunately, that means that it does not show up as an objective when you're playing the level. So, a few times through, I've played this and failed because I uh, didn't do it. It doesn't uh, it doesn't remind you along the way. Uh, so here we go. We got the old Bell Moral Bomber. Uh, I tell you right now, I'm not a big fan of this plane, but what the heck, let's go for it. flying around in a devastator I want that devastator so so I'm sure you picked up from the uh, briefing gonna go All right. steal us some this cranes to keep your eyes peeled just the same I don't want any surprises our targets are over the main base in the airfield work camp over Roger that captain no problem read it loud and clear chief Hey, Captain, there's that work camp down there. Should we attack it? Over? Stay focused, Jack. We're here to take out the main base first. After that, we can swing back here and deal with that work camp. Well, there you have it. This is the work camp what? down here, That's but you're not saying... Whoa! You're not supposed to attack it yet. Oops, oops, oops. Except my turret is attacking it. That's right, I forgot this plane has a turret. Well, that's kind of useful. So, fly over here, cause some trouble. There's a balloon. Barrage balloon. Well, looks like the Brits got some point defense balloons up. We'll need to take them out if we want to secure this base. Copy that, boss. The base is under attack. Man all fire stations. Enemy planes inbound. Balloon turrets. Open fire. So, I gotta fly around to take out the. Go, fellas. Take out the old turrets here. Flying turrets is uh, they've got guns and rocket launchers up on the balloons. And take 
this place out. Ah. The balloons are gone. Good work, gang. Zachary here. Let's hit those buildings. About those balloons, it should be a turkey shoot. Such happy music when you accomplish an objective in this game. Oh my god, this plane. You are pretty much never going to see me fly this thing again. This is a joke. That's right. Keep up the pressure on that base. This is the base, Commander. We are under attack. All personnel evacuate immediately. Repeat, begin evacuation. Okay, so just got to knock out those Quonset huts. We'll be in good shape. Turn her around. Oh, this plane is a joke. But it carries a lot of rockets. Glad to see my wingmen are making themselves useful. Flying around and not doing anything. Well, we'll let them mess around with that for a bit. You can see the Pandora way over there kind of minding its own business. It'll come over here eventually, but uh, you don't want to expose them to any more fire than is absolutely necessary. Okay, so, coming around here, gotta destroy the machine. Watch that defensive fire! Shut up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, carefully. Well done. By the time they can rebuild this place, we'll be rich and long gone. Attention, pirates. This is the British commander. We surrender. Repeat, the base is yours. That takes care of that, fellas. Head back to the Pandora. <laughs> We're done for the day. Good job. Got our flag on there. It's looking good. So, you might think, under normal circumstances, that the level is over at that point, but no, no, no. Can't forget the uh, labor camp. So while the game is not going to remind you, got to fly back over here and cause some... Jesus, God. Watch it. That's why fire. I've already run out of rockets. This is the combo how it works. He's got a million. Prisoners are escaping. Again, the wingmates are making themselves very useful. Attention! All oh, the work camp personnel evacuate! Repeat, evacuate! Leave the prisoners behind and oh, get out! I wish I hadn't done that. So, uh, if you'll look at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you'll see that my tail has taken some heavy damage. I generally want to avoid doing that. But that's one nice thing about the Belmoral is that it's uh, plenty tough. All the guard towers are down, fellas. Now I believe I just missed a building over here, and then we'll be in good shape. Let's we'll take care of that. There it is. nothing. You see, this is the trouble with not having objectives. Maybe kill the boats. Kill some boats. Scratch one work ah, camp, guys. Go. Good work, everybody. It'll be quite a while before that airstrip is finished. Yeah, 
happy music. Do -do 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 what the hell was that? Somebody just crash into something? Oh, you useless wingmates. Okie doke. Mission complete. Didn't shoot down any planes, but you know, oh well. 651, 16%, not too good. Cash earn zero. Still zero! How am I gonna make money? Whatever. Okay, so. That's a, uh, I imagine a surveillance photo of some kind. There's Pandora back there. There's the, uh, the British Zeppelin right here. All looks pretty cool. Let's go back. There's our stunt image. Hmm. Pretty good. Let's see here. Ooh. A Union Jack all full of holes. That's rude. Okay. I got another letter from the King of Hawaii. I guess I'm getting uh, getting pretty cool with him. Oh, the Hundred Isles of Hawaii. That's a lot of islands. And down here... Oh dear, a letter from the princess. <laughs> oh boy, and oh dear, looks like uh, looks like Nathan knows the princess. How about that? That's about what we figure he looked like. Okay, so that's uh, that's it for this one. Uh, no extra stuff here. Get on back to the cabin, and uh, well, that was that was kind of a short one, but things uh, things are going to get pretty interesting in the next level here. Got uh, got some technology that really shouldn't exist at this time, uh, so that's going to be real fun. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the plane of the day because we didn't get a new plane uh, in this level. So let's take a look. Today's plane of the day was the go-to aircraft for Cold War deterrence, the Boeing B-52 Strato Fortress. It's a long-range jet-powered strategic bomber that has been operating continuously with the United States Air Force since 1955. Originally designed to carry nuclear weapons, the B-52 replaced the Convair B-36 as the U.S.'s primary bomber. Although a veteran of several wars, the B-52 has only dropped conventional munitions in combat. Superior performance at subsonic speeds and a low operating cost have kept the B-52 in service despite the advent of later bomber aircraft such as the B-1B Lancer and the B-2 Bomber. From its original concept as a propeller plane to the high performance alternative fuel jet it is today, the B-52 has undergone several upgrades and modifications over the years. Six major revisions have been done to the design since the 40s. B-52s can carry any number of items, from bombs to scientific equipment to small planes. The B-52 is scheduled to stay in service till 2040 and will likely receive another major upgrade or two in that time. 